What's good? <laughs> I know it's been forever, but I'm back. Um, we got rid of the old co-host. He's gone. And I am back now. Deshaun Lane, of course. We got a couple things to talk about, especially like everything's been going on, like the KSI and Logan Fox. It's going on. Now, can we talk about the press conference? It was literally a cringe fest. Uh, I watched it live, of course. And, uh, <laughs> like, it was so bad, dude. It was just so bad. Um, at one point, this is when you know it was, like, super cringe. At one point, Logan started hollering up, JJ has no dick. 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 It was like, bro, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Guess I didn't really say much. He did say that he was, um, he was going to be, Logan was going to be Kong and JJ was going to be the Coyote. If you don't know the reference, it's the, it's because of, uh, it's because Logan's dog, Kong, which was like a Pomeranian, Pomeranian or something like that. I'm not sure exactly. I think it's what it was. But anyway, it got loose and a coyote got a hold of it and took off with it. And yeah. So that's not good. <laughs> so I guess it's good, uh, it's good trash talk, but you know, it's also like, Bro, and he started like howling after he's like, lur, lur, lur. <laughs> which I thought was hilarious. But yeah, he it was it was good trash talk for sure. Logan had a good a couple lot a good couple lines. He like brought up with Deji and saying that Deji didn't even support his brother, didn't even think his brother was gonna win or something like that. And then Deji turned around and said, hey, I didn't say that, my words got twisted. They only said this and this, and it's. But anyway, if you want the the fight is happening November 9th. It's basically two YouTubers fighting. And if you don't know this situation, uh, they had a they had a fight last year in September, and it was like one of the biggest YouTube events that you know this gone on. And basically, uh, it was a draw between Logan and KSI. So it was like a year later. They're having another fight, it's a rematch. So maybe we'll maybe we'll see a winner this go around. Um, for me to pick sides, I'm not sure what side to pick. Um, because basically it's you know, America. There's they're like portraying as America versus Britain. Or, you know, you know, whatever. But uh I honestly don't watch KSI and the reason for the, I do watch, I have watched some of his videos, you know, of course everybody's watched some of them, of some of his videos. He's the biggest YouTuber in the UK right now, so. But I really don't watch his videos as much as, uh, like, I watch Logan. Like, I'll watch, like, of course I'm gonna watch the whole, like, while he's doing this whole press conference stuff with KSI up to the fight and stuff like that, I'm gonna watch the fight. Uh, I'm actually gonna have like a big thing over here. I'm gonna set up on buy it on uh, pay per view. No, I don't think it's on pay per view this year. Um, it might be. I don't know. But anyway, I'm gonna buy it and uh, watch it, of course. But yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna do a big thing up here and set up and watch, set up and watch it and all that good stuff. But if you had to ask me what side I wanted to be on, I don't really like KSI. Uh, he does make funny videos and stuff like that, but uh, I really enjoy the Sidemen videos more than I do enjoy in KSI's videos. So, but I really enjoy Impulsive because they have a lot of cool guests on. So I do watch him, I do watch Impulsive. I do watch some of Logan's vlogs, but I've always watched Logan and, and you know, so I, I'm not sure on I guess if you had to ask me what side I was on, I guess I'd say Logan's side, which he really does have an advantage this year. He's quite huge. Like, you know, he's been, well, ever since last year's fight, he's been, you know, nonstop training. So of course you're gonna see that. He is 
literally huge. Like they did like KSI and him stood together at the press conference and it was like Logan KSI. <laughs> like it was it's pretty pretty crazy this pretty crazy difference. It seemed like Log or it seemed like KSI wanted to take a more professional approach to the press conference, but again it is a press conference. So you're trying to, you know, piss off your other opponent to get them to say something crazy so you can start getting into an argument. So Logan was trying that, but it really wasn't working and KSI just didn't give him anything. So that's what you got out of the press conference. Now, what you've all been waiting for. I did crash my bike. A lot of people have been asking me, did you really crash your bike? Yes, I did. So I posted a picture and a neck brace and I just thought it was you know, I just thought it'd be something to do. Cause you don't normally get pictures. You don't ever get to get a picture in a neck brace. You know, it's not like a normal thing. <laughs> so they put me in a neck brace for precaution because I leaned back and had whiplash. So when I leaned back, my head would just like almost practically fall and I'd have to like catch myself because my muscles were strained in my neck and I couldn't really hold my head up. And so they put me in a neck brace just for like a temporary thing. And uh, I had like got skin up. Uh, bruise. I had a bruise, I'm telling y'all, it was like this this big, right from my thigh to my back. Uh, it's gone. It's still there a little bit, it's still healing or whatever, but it's gone pretty much. Until I fell the other day. As you can see in the video of the go-kart video, I was walking, I stepped on a piece of bamboo, my legs came out from under me, and I just fell right on my side. I put my arm down to catch me, and it pulled, re, like, re-pulled my muscles up my arm. <laughs> so that sucked. That's why I was like complaining. I was like, oh, my muscles, I'm pulling my muscles again. Yeah, that's why. Um, but I did crash my bike. I broke my rear set on it and uh, bent the gear shifting linkage. Um, just a lot of, bu just a bunch of little stuff. I scratched the bike up, of course. Um, tore the fender, like moved the fender. It didn't really tear it, but it moved the fender. So I just took it off and I'm already painting and everything. Uh, it did a lot. It did a pretty good bit to it. Not a lot. Not anything like crazy. I did think it warped my front wheel. Pretty sure it did because uh, I got the bike fixed yesterday and I rode it for the first time today to work. And I didn't really notice it on my way to work, but on my way home, I was kind of looking down and like feel it like it was kind of vibrating. So I kept looking down at my wheel. And my wheel looks kind of like it got warped up in the in the crash. So. There's that. Um, I don't think it's gonna matter because I am getting a Maxxis tire, which is basically like a dirt bike tire to put on the back of a Grom. It's, it's got knobbies and stuff, so as you go trail riding. I am getting that this weekend, and I will be trying to put that thing on this weekend. So it's not really gonna matter because I'm not gonna be going as fast as I usually do on the Grom because of that tire. I think I'm gonna try and take it easy, and I think I'm gonna have more fun than um, I think I'm going to try to have more fun than, uh, you know, than anything. I'm not going to really take, uh, like, of course, like when you say it, you're not going to take riding serious, like, <laughs> I'm not saying I'm not taking riding serious, but I'm not going to try and do the whole, like, do the wheelies and stuff like that, which I wasn't doing when I crashed. I come around the corner, I come around the corner and there was a bike, like, before the stop sign and I crashed into him and... It'll probably, it'll probably helped if I was paying more attention. It's no big deal. I wasn't mad about the crash. Um, I will say it was just like the Facebook, or not, not the Facebook meme, but the meme that's here out recently with SpongeBob where it's like, I, I'm gonna head out and it's like, there's like a caption and it says that. I swear to God, dude, this guy walked up and uh, I was sitting in the truck and I just loaded my back up. And he walked up to you, you all right? Yeah, man, I'm good. He's like, you know, gives me the handshake or whatever. You know, the, you know, whatever. Gives me the handshake. He's like, all right, I'm gonna head out, guys. I think I'm gonna just call it a day right here. <laughs> just gives all his bike leaves. I was like, I looked at Justin and I said, dude, it was just like the Facebook meme. Do you think he did that on purpose? <laughs> it was hilarious. But anyway, uh, I, I'm pretty sure I know the name. I can't remember the name of the guy. He told me his name when we was eating at Popeyes. I can't 
can't remember. It started with L. Landon or London. Landon. I think it was Landon. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, um, there was a couple of factors that went into that wreck. Like I said, I probably could have been paying attention a little more. That would probably help me. Um, I probably could have... I probably could have been going a little bit slower. I think I was going like 35 or 40 miles an hour. I know that doesn't sound fast, but like when you're beelining around a curve on a Grom, and that's almost, you know, pegged out on a Grom, basically. So when I was coming around that curve, I didn't really have time to stop when I looked up and I think um, there was a vehicle coming. So I was like, there was a vehicle headed my way. So I was like looking at the vehicle and then like I wasn't paying attention. And, and then it probably could have helped it feel a little bit more forward at the stop sign with everybody else so the rest of the group. So uh, there's no blame, you know, being placed on anybody. But yeah, the Grom is rideable again. Um, maybe that dude will get to ride with us again. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we did have a new guy from Louisiana. He came up and rode with us. That was pretty cool. He had a Grom. Uh, we had Justin out. Haven't rode with Justin since. Obviously, my bike's been down. Spencer's came by and hung out and has been in my videos. He was in my go kart video. Um, Dylan is still riding his. He rides his work every day. Josh rides his work every day, and I just got my fix. Like I said, for the millionth time. So, I also have a video coming out. I have, God, I move my arms around a lot, don't I? <laughs> I have a video coming out where I found a computer case uh, for like 12 bucks. It was pretty cool. Well, I'm gonna upload that as soon as possible. Not really sure when, but it'll be as soon as possible. Um, I haven't moved anything to the new case because I wanna wait until I get like a water cooler. I don't know if I wanna go water cool. Uh, I'm not sure just yet. I do want, I do want to, obviously everybody wants to go water cool but I'm not just totally sure yet if I'm sold on the idea. I might just move my stuff over there and just not worry about it until I buy the water cooler. And I thought about buying new fans. I thought about buying some strips, some RGB strips to put inside the case because there's no lights inside the case. But I don't know. Also, um, we got two. <laughs> All right, you know the, um, of course, the uh, Area 51 raid's coming up. It's like a day or two away. I don't know when I'm going to upload this. I think I'm going to upload it tomorrow. Anyway, today is the 19th. Holy crap, it's tomorrow. Dude, I got to upload this tonight. That means we got to edit and upload it. Anyway, Area 51 raid is tomorrow, September 20th. It is literally a couple hours away. Everybody's supposed to meet there at three o'clock. There's already been uh, there's already been people going out there camping. Uh, some people, two YouTubers, had crossed the line and got three miles in on like three miles in past where you're supposed to stop. They got three miles in there. Is that not crazy? That's insane. Uh, they did get arrested and they are in trouble. I haven't heard an update on that just yet, but I will update as soon as I figure it out. But I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a lot of buzz going around about Area 51. So <laughs> I may not be able to get to it in time because there's gonna be so much like, there's people setting up camp right now and stuff like that, which is like, it's fixed, it's like fixing a habit. It's supposed to be at three o'clock in the morning on, on uh, the 20th, which it is, literally a couple hours away it's just like eight o'clock right now so not a couple hours but it's like you know like, like it's pretty close <laughs> i don't know how these videos are gonna go i just kind of jumped in front of the camera because i wanted to make a video um obviously these episodes are supposed to be more to them they're supposed to be like commercials that we make up um with Chris and then they were supposed to be like my intern that's always supposed to be messing up but everybody has been super busy and it's just so hard to film like when we want to film we want to film like a big video like the go-kart video it's supposed to be going over there Saturday to do damage control or to assess the da damage assessment that's what I want to call it a damage assessment 
but we're supposed to go over there and check on that out just to make sure like see what all we've done to the yard and see what the go-kart if it's been running right because i literally did the burnout and then jumped out because it got too smoky so i jumped out and just let it die or dylan cut it off and see how slick the tire is so we are going to go over there and do that and check on the jeep because it wasn't running good when we was trying to move in i was using the uh mic the uh wireless mic so the noise that y'all heard in the video was like when we got too far away it'd start cutting out and it'd be silent and then it would come back and then we would smash into something and uh, I know not to use that mic now we're just gonna use like a shotgun mic or we're just gonna use the GoPro mic because I really don't even know which mic is working because I got my desktop mic going right now because I couldn't get my my microphone adapter to work with my GoPro, so I'm not sure. I don't know. So I'm gonna be doing some more testing with mics and because I got a new GoPro, I got a GoPro Hero 6. So I'm gonna be testing all the mics and trying to get that mic adapter to work and maybe it can work. I don't know if it's gonna work or not. So we are gonna do more green screen stuff. I just don't have the lighting right now. But I think that's all. I think it's going to be all for this video. We're trying to get this edited. We're trying to keep it short so I can get it edited and uploaded tonight. That way, because like I was talking about the Area 51, I move around a lot and I move my hands a lot. <laughs> I'm going to try and get the uh, this uploaded tonight because of the Area 51 deal. And I will. Up, I'm probably going to update you guys tomorrow just to, because I'm going to keep an eye on the news and stuff and see what happens to Area 51. Uh, they have the roads blocked already so you can't really get that close to the like where you can stand now because they you know they're you know they're trying to keep uh, keep it under control or whatever so maybe I don't I'm not saying I want anything to happen but maybe you know nothing major will happen maybe they'll just because what I heard there was supposed to be a festival on each side where the two stations are the gas stations or whatever they are like the souvenir shop or the gas station put together or something like that i don't exactly know but i heard there's supposed to be a festival here a festival here people are going to set up a stage and stuff like that i don't know if that's going to be true i don't know if it's still going on or not i've heard that they canceled the invite list because it was getting so close and there were so many people trying to go and i know people are going to go to this there's already people showing up like i said and they're camping out but I just hope it's not those people who are like, oops, I crossed the line, and then, you know, they get shot. That would suck. Don't do that. Do not go to Area 51 because that is very dangerous and you will get shot. I think. <laughs> I'm not going, so I don't know. But don't go. <laughs> just for your safety, don't go. I'm gonna watch the news and keep y'all up to date because I'll probably make a video tomorrow if anything does go down. If, it, if it's just quiet, nothing's going on about Area 51, I probably won't make a video on it. It's be like, oh, you know, something about, you know, nobody did anything. But if you like these type of videos, uh, please leave a like or comment. Let me know which if you want more of these videos. If you want me to do more of these videos, what do you guys want? Because I'm trying to figure it out. I'm all over the place with this YouTube stuff. I'm pretty, I appreciate y'all liking my videos and and stuff like that. Uh, my last video got major traction, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, it hit, within like one day, it hit like 90 something views and like, I think it hit like almost 20 likes. I think it was like 19, 18, 19 likes or something like that. Uh, huge traction, really appreciate it. We are gonna try and make some more videos like that. Uh, if the new go kart don't explode, but if not, we have other options that we've already sought out just to replace the go kart if we have to. And then me and Dylan also talked about. I don't know if you heard it in the last video. Me and Dylan also talked about when we do start getting sponsorships and stuff. So I do have a potential sponsor lined up. Um, we're just waiting on to get like 200k subs. They said they would sponsor us, and that would be so cool. We thought about it. They said if we do get the sponsorship at 200k subs. We're going to rebuild the, because it's a car place that's going to do it. Uh, we're going to ask to rebuild the, the uh, we're going to ask to rebuild, 
I can't talk. I'm going to ask to rebuild the, uh, the ADM. So, <laughs> I know the thing has been through hell. So, if it does go down, the sponsorship does go down, we're going to rebuild the AVO and we're going to put a new motor in it. We're going to do everything. It's going to be super fun. And we just thought it might be a good idea because it would just take a car that we've just absolutely, utterly destroyed and then rebuilt it. <laughs> we thought it'd be fun. But anyway, if you like the video, hit the like button. That would be awesome. Um, comment, which, like I said, what you want me to do. I don't know why I stood in front of the green screen. I just decided to stand in front of it. I'm not really sure. But yeah. Thanks for another episode of Up All Night. This is your boy.